We have new details on the status of South Carolina's abortion bill. Now, most abortions are now illegal in the state before the time many women know they're pregnant. Today, the all-male state Supreme Court upheld South Carolina's six-week abortion ban in a four-to-one decision. State House reporter Mary Green explains what it means for South Carolinians. Planned Parenthood, which operates two of South Carolina's three abortion clinics, says providers have stopped abortion services for patients more than six weeks along in their pregnancy right now. It says that the majority of the 30 patients on the schedule at its Columbia Clinic today were sent home once this ruling came down this morning. This is devastating. I'm not terribly surprised. I felt like it would ultimately go this way. I'm obviously gratified that it did. The Fetal Heartbeat and Protection from Abortion Act bans abortion after around six weeks into a pregnancy. It allows limited exceptions to save the mother's life for sexual assault survivors up to 12 weeks and with a reporting requirement and when the fetus has a fatal anomaly that would prevent it from surviving outside the womb. I'm outraged. I think this is a tragic decision that's going to have widespread consequences for women in this state. In the majority opinion, Justice John Kittredge wrote, quote, the legislature has made a policy determination that at a certain point in the pregnancy, a woman's interest in autonomy and privacy does not outweigh the interests of the unborn child to live. As a court, unless we can say that the balance struck by the legislature was unreasonable as a matter of law, we must uphold the act. That's what the court did in a four to one opinion released Wednesday, a reversal of the three two decision from January that struck down the state's previous six week ban. The focus that we had on the previous court opinion and trying to address those concerns paid off. The court's makeup also changed in that time. It made a difference that we had a different justice. I think that clearly made a difference. Prior to this ruling, abortion had been legal in South Carolina through about 20 weeks into a pregnancy. That was one of the least restrictive limits in the Southeast. And DHEC reported the number of people from other states seeking abortions in South Carolina had skyrocketed since last fall. Not only does this policy mean that we're not going to have the destination state, but we're probably also going to reduce, almost certainly going to reduce what we were having historically anyway. Uh, so in, in that in that respect, I mean, it's a, it's a big win for life. This uh, decision is devastating, not only because of the impact it will have on South Carolinians, but also because South Carolina is a critical state for access across the entire South. In the last year, there hasn't been enough support in the state Senate to pass an abortion ban more restrictive than this one at about six weeks. Members of both parties I spoke with today seem to be in agreement that the law as it is right now is likely how it's going to stay, at least until after the 2024 election, when every seat here at the State House is up for grabs. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green.